Good morning to you all! Welcome to my channel Marley Design and my name is Marlies. And this is how I left my desk last Monday, no, yeah, no, last Tuesday. Uh, because this is what I created in the video that I have posted last Tuesday. It was all about bulk create ephemera in a simple and easy quick way. If you have not checked that video out yet, I would recommend to do so, so you will know how I came to all these lovely pieces. Like I said in that video, uh, it was for me to make a mother video on how to pay a little bit more love and attention to these papers to make them even more beautiful. And that is my plan for today. First, I will get out the larger pieces of ephemera from this set. For example, the tags, the file folder, a card, and maybe one of the labels. And why the larger pieces of ephemera? The word already says it large. For what I would like to do, you need, well, a little bit of surface to work on because I want to use stencils and some texture paste. Um, yeah, and on small pieces that is a little bit difficult. So that is the reason why I have chosen to work on the larger pieces first. I have placed down my media surface mat first. On top are my papers and I got out some basic acrylic gesso, white, and a small brayer. I will not cover the whole surface of the papers. I will mostly focus on adding the gesso on like on the sides, the bottom or on the top. The larger pieces of ephemera are done with my gesso, but to keep everything matching, I will also do some of the gesso on the smaller pieces of ephemera. While all my papers are drying, I will go into my stencils and I will find two stencils that I think will match this theme. Uh, and like I said in my earlier video, I have chosen French design tape. Uh, it has some blue tones in it. So that made me think like French, a ledger script or flowers or a stencil with ornaments or florals. I will be right back with my stencils and my texture paste so we can go to our next step. My papers with the gesso are dry and I found two stencils that I think um, yeah, are matching and will work great together. This is a stencil from Tim Holtz and the number is THS026. Here I have another stencil from Tim Holtz and the number is THS075. With these stencils, I will use this texture paste. It is the Distress Texture Paste Opaque. And I have my palette knife to smear the texture paste on top of the stencil. And while my papers are drying on the side, I will clean my stencils. Of course, I will close my jar and clean up my palette knife before doing anything else. After cleaning, I will search for a medium that can color my texture. Uh, whether it will be like a spray or a paint, I do not know yet. I will go through all my stuff. Yeah, and let's find out what I can come up with. Okay, so this is what I found, the Distress Spray Stain Brushed Corduroy, because in the background of my papers there is also this tone. I will spray some of this color on my surface mat, and then with a small brush I will try to put it in between the texture paste, so mostly I am aiming for the creases. Thank you. 
so much for aiming on the creases, that did not work. I mean the texture paste, and I could have known that, is very absorbent. So as soon as you hit those erased areas, the texture paste, with the brush, the color will soak in right away. But yeah, this is just what we have, and we have to make it work. Now I will let this air dry before I will do anything else. The ink on top of the raised areas, the texture paste is dry. And after drying, I have put this whole collection uh, into a stack of very heavy books to flatten out the paper. Because there is also blue in my papers, I have chosen a Distress Oxide spray, chipped sapphire, to add to my papers. My first go-to will be spraying this product onto my craft sheet. And I will run through that with a small brayer. And I will try to brayer it on top of the raised areas. Okay, so now we came this far, uh, but I want to explain something first before we go even further, because I always want to keep everything in the same color scheme. And of course we used brushed corduroy and chipped sapphire, uh, but then I had the moment I wanted to distress and ink all the edges of my papers. And I realized I do not have the distress ink pad chipped sapphire. So what did I do? I took the mini blending tool and with my leftover ink that I already sprayed on top of my craft sheet, so that would be the Distress Oxide Spray Chipped Sapphire, yeah, I picked that up with this blending tool and that turned out to be the way how I could apply this color onto all the edges of the paper. After doing that, I went back in with the brush Corduroy and my brush and I splattered on top of those papers. For a little finishing touch, I went into all my packages of ephemera, uh, layers and snippets to find the right pieces of ephemera to decorate this paper a little bit more. And why do I say a little bit? Because I do not want to do a whole lot to these papers, to these pieces of ephemera, because I really, really love how they turned out. And I think they are already beautiful as is. I went into all those packages and um, yeah, I found just little pieces like a little label, a small postage stamp, some butterflies, and I have all chosen them because of the color. They all have a blue tone in it. And because I do not want my ephemera right now to pop off the paper, I do not want a whole lot of contrast, I want to blend them in. And there's no better way than to blend when you work in the same colors. Before gluing each piece to the papers, I will first ink up all the edges. All the small ephemera pieces are on and in the meantime I also punch the holes on top of those labels and the two tags. So now I can add some ribbon, a lace or string. Thank you. 
And here are all the ephemera pieces together. I think it is a beautiful overview. There is not too much going on. So the background, you know, the texture paste and what we colored is still there and is also still interesting for the eyes. Yeah, overall, I am very, very satisfied. Now that also means that this was my video for you guys today. I hope you liked it and enjoyed your time on my channel. I sure did have fun. Now if you would like to know which materials and mediums and colors I have used, then take a look in my description box below. I will put all the materials and supplies down there. What you can also find in my description box are all my links to my social media accounts and my coffee shop. So you can take a look and check everything out. Thank you for spending time on my channel and have a great day. Bye!